In about 48 hours, all these eggs right here will be getting placed into the incubator. So in about 17 to 18 days, all these will be hatching as well. Because right here, as you can see, we have a tray of 90 eggs and we've been collecting now about 90 eggs every week. Look in there, look in there, look in there. Oh my God, Kenya, look in there. Look how many we missed. <laughs> what is going on everybody welcome back to another video here at blake's exotic and ranch today you guys is our third hatch here with blake's exotic feeders with our quails and as you guys can see we have a ton of quails that need to get picked up and put inside our brooder system right over here we have a whole nother incubator here as well that has another probably i would say 600 eggs that need to hatch inside of there but this is the system that you guys seen before right here but let's go outside and I'm gonna show you this new cage that we built for our next stage up. I built that real big longer cage out on the outside over there, but that cage I did not like whatsoever because it was too wide. I couldn't grab the birds. And then on top of that, all of the manure, the pee and the poop fall on the ground and it created too many flies. I'm trying to figure out a way to keep the fly population down and keeping everything nice and clean. So my buddy Gabe and I, we made this enclosure right here. And this is gonna be a really, really cool system. Each tower will have 50 birds and these are gonna be around two a three week old birds and if we're keeping them or we're gonna uh, bag them it matters what what we're gonna do with them but this is another system to keep them up and we're able to put these nice beautiful trays right here so that they have a nice clean housing area we have all our breeders over there they're doing absolutely amazing we have 150 birds lined up over there doing great and we've been cleaning those guys out every two days it's an operation that we're getting going and we're growing every single day on the table inside, we have another 1,200 eggs that we will show you in just a few seconds. And we're gonna place all of those guys inside of those incubators in about two days once we get all those birds out and clean them all up. Everything's going good, everything's going great. Kenya's here today and she's helping doing all the tortoises while we're trying to figure out all the quails and getting all the quails situated. All right, let's go grab these babies and let's see how many we have that hatched out today. And our birds in the hatching time enclosures are doing absolutely amazing too, why? Because right here, as you can see, we have a tray of 90 eggs and we've been collecting now about 90 eggs every week with just those birds. In about another week or so, we're going to be collecting trays of those eggs and we're going to have to not have to buy from other people anymore. But it's time to go. Birds are jumping off the top of, you know, top of the thing and they are, you know, and it's, uh, we got to get them and put them inside a brooder and see what we're going to do with these guys. Unfortunately, all the yellow ones most likely are gonna be the ones that need to be bagged first because it's harder to sex when they are bigger. So Kenya, it's it's about to get crazy. All right, there's a lot of birds in here right now. They just all fall in. Get them all out of here, get them. There's some nice ones in here too. I know a lot of people are mad about me doing what I'm doing here. But unfortunately, I don't like asking people for money with donations and all that stuff. So I have to figure out another way to make more. Whoa there, crazy lunatic. Another way to make more money here on the ranch so I can support the family, support the animals, and support everything here. First ones are going in. And it's these brooders that I made right here. I'm not the biggest fan of it. We've already used it three times. And I would say that um, we're gonna make another one. This is the first step. We're building stuff, figuring it out, seeing what works the best for me. And I do not like this one anymore. So we're gonna have to make whole brand new brooders coming soon after these guys raise up a little bit more. All right, Kendra, we're going over there now. All right, we're going to this back down here. All right, open her up. Oh my God, oh my God. We have a lot in here. We gotta go to the trays and everything too, you guys. Some are some real big birds in here. They are big, right? Yeah. Compared to last time. Look at that one. Yeah, that one has to stay in a little longer. These are really big. But if you don't know, Close that up, can you? All right, another batch going in. And if you guys are interested in quails, we're not gonna be live yet. The reason why is because we want to make sure that we're able to supply at least 30 to 40 people every single week consistently. I don't wanna be one of those people that say, oh, we are live with birds, and then that next week, we don't have anything for you guys. Like we just filled up this whole batch here. 
and they're already all bouncing. Oh my goodness. Saw that one? Yeah. Look in there, look in there, look in there. Oh my God, can you look in there? Look how many we missed. Oh, nice. <laughs> all right, let me grab them all out of there real quick. Oh, there's one underneath the tray. Blue tray there. See it? We're working on another incubator that will be a lot easier than this type right here. It's a setter incubator, and on top of that, all the birds hatch and stay inside of a cage so that they don't fly out and do everything that they're doing here. So then when they're all hatching, you just get the little hatching cage, pick it up and dump it instead of doing this process right here. It's a lot easier and a lot faster process. And it's an incubator that we would like to get that will hold up to 5,000 quails at a time. So that'll be really, really awesome. We're filling up guys, we're filling up. There's a lot of color in here. And like I was talking to you guys about, in about 48 hours, all these eggs right here will be getting placed into the incubator. So about 17 to 18 days, all these will be hatching as well. And the process will happen every single time in about 17 days, 18 days. We'll be hatching out about 1,200. And hopefully by next week, or the following 17 days, we'll be hatching out almost 6,000 birds every 18 days. So, you know, we gotta go big, we gotta go fast because we have to supply a lot of people that are interested in buying quail from us. If you guys have not been following Blake's Exotic Feeders and all the reels and all the pictures and everything of the processes that we have going on, make sure you do that on Instagram. Right now we're doing everything inside of our fish building and everything behind in the turtle section. But once it gets booming and that business booms, we're moving the whole operation to another part of the property. And we'll get a giant building like this just to have all quails inside. And as you guys saw, Kenya and Cassandra went out to our breeding pens and collected about 24 eggs right there. And those eggs will sit to the side until all of these are done, like we were just mentioning, and they'll get all placed inside of these pins. Uh, what we're definitely gonna have to do, Cassandra and Kenya, what are you shaking your head for, girl? Flies, look at her. There goes your Starbucks. <laughs> what do you wanna call it? What we're gonna have to do is get more of these blue trays because it'll be making it a lot easier so that when we're collecting eggs, we don't have to put them inside here and then put them inside there. So what we'll do is we'll get another whole set of those blue trays so that when these are all hatching, we already have them ready to go and we just place them right in instead of putting them there. You know, every single day that we're doing this stuff, we're learning and we're trying to make it easier and faster so that we can save time. All those new pins that we have out there will have automatic watering and feeders coming soon. So that's just one, two, one, two, and you know, you gotta do it quick. But other than that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Once more, go follow Blake's Exotic Feeders so you guys are updated with all the cool things that we have going on with our quail business. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.